taking over the Weston Smith channel because he's struggling <laughs> to catch the fish today. I had to take over the channel again because Weston, I can't catch him. Oh, okay. Okay. You got him. Got him. What's up and good morning you guys. It is Monday the 20th of April, six o'clock in the morning. I got up pretty early this morning. I'm actually gonna go out and meet Christian for some top water. Uh, at least that was the plan last night. I, hopefully he's gonna wake up for it. I'm up, man. Let's go. Max is with me right here. Zeke's just chilling. And uh, I am gonna have these kolaches. Devin went out this morning and actually picked up some breakfast. Ooh, looks like an apple fritter too, man. Jalapeno kolaches. Check this out, man. I don't talk about my uh, boots a lot or my uh, fishing shoes, but these hook boots are just off the chain. If you guys uh, are looking for something to just go pond hopping in and not really care if you get too muddy, but also like halfway decent style points, those hook boots are pretty slick. I really enjoy them. So I'm gonna get the GoPro ready, grab a frog, and uh, we're gonna try and hit some top water this morning. We might have some opportunity to throw the big swim baits as well, but I gotta hit sunrise. So really I need to get off this camera and eat those kolaches. Let's go ahead and get on the road after we feed the pups as well. Gino, good morning. Come on, Gina gets a special blend with her dry food. All right, we are almost ready. Okay. Dogs are fed and up. Let's go ahead and load this car up, GoPro, batteries. Coffee and kolaches too, man, let's hit the road. It is next level foggy this morning. Roll these windows down <laughs> so I can see. All right, let's get out to the spot. We got like a 35 minute drive. We're meeting Christian. The sun's coming up soon. Top water bite. Oh, I don't like the camera falling either. Yes, y'all, we are here. Let's go ahead. Grab the goodies. Christian should be here any second. He said he was pulling up. He might be in the lot. I don't even know. All right. Okay, let's get it. Sweet. Christian's parking right now. I am just going to toss the frog box in the bag. Got the scale, pliers. I think we have all we need. Eat me. All right, let me get this rigged up. We'll see you at the pond. Now that's the pond right there. <laughs> this is nuts. Fog is heavy today, y'all. As soon as we walked up, three wakes right here. They're all up shallow. Just to feed my curiosity. Just had one hit at first cast. Uh, dude, it one spanked this on the first cast, oh, so really? I had confidence. Dude, yeah, he smacked it. Um, he didn't eat it. He just, he just like probably sideswiped it. Yeah, on this side, they're all up shallow, like inches. Artists at work. That's gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna throw the frog a little bit more in that shallow end. Got one. First cast on the crawl. Okay. All right. Well, that might be a little sign. Sick, come out for top water, and the same old Texas rig is what gets them. Okay, well, first cast on the craw, although I won't lie, that was an excellent cast into a perfect spot. It was just like a little bit of opening in the grass under that tree, I mean, there had to have been a bass there. Uh, I already threw the frog in that general vicinity, didn't get a hit, and then Texas rig, baby. Sayonara, man. First fish of the morning. Uh, we've been out here for about 20, 30 minutes. It's 7.32. Yo. Hey, first cast on the crack and crawl. Uh, up shallow. Really? Yeah, I think they're just, I think the top water is just a little off, but dude, they're, they're in these little openings and they're and they're right by the bank. So I, crawl is what they're eating, I, I think. I'm holding a fish right now. Oh shit, the, on the frog? Yeah. Oh, well, just kidding then. <laughs> yeah, it's about three. All right, well, you smoked me. Well, Christian's got me screwed up. <laughs> He's holding the fish and he says it's bigger than mine on the frog. So uh, that's not gonna change 
what I'm throwing just for this very moment because I got to get right back in that same spot and see if there's a second fish in there. All right, we've been throwing around a lot of the goods. I don't know what to do. A fluke would be so perfect for here. The fog is lifting a little bit and uh, Christian's on two fish right now on the frog, both about three pounds. And you saw my smaller fish over there in the corner on the crack and crawl. And it has been maybe an hour or so, I don't know. And uh, probably give this a little bit more time. I've got to run home and give Gino her meds actually. And then I'll probably have to uh, hit another pond. A few more casts, fog kind of came back. And uh, Christian and I about to dip, man. We're going to uh, definitely get some more fishing in today and we're gonna catch some more fish. But for now, I gotta run home, give Gino her meds, which I forgot about. Otherwise, I'd be able to stay out a little bit longer, but it's cool. Uh, she's still got plenty of time before she actually needs them. I was just gonna give them her a little early that way. I could have some time out on the water, but guess what? We're headed back home, gonna do some editing and get out fishing at another pond here pretty quick. So, catch you at the house. We're back. What's up, Max? I am about to go hit a pond here in a minute with Adele, it sounds like. He's got some free time and the bite's supposed to be hot from 11 to 1 today. It's now 10 o'clock. I'm just going to breeze through a little bit of editing. That way I've got less to do tonight. This is the video that's actually going to go up today. So I got to at least get started on it. That way I don't have too much to do later as well as create the thumbnail, title, etc. All right, it's been a minute, got some editing done, and I just replied to all my DMs on Instagram as well as replied to all my YouTube comments. I try and do that for you guys, uh, stay in touch with everyone. Anyways, getting out to the pond, the bite's supposed to be hot from 11 to 1. It's 10.30 now, so we're about to head out. Juno, chill out. Remind me not to set my alarm for 5.30 a.m. during quarantine. I am feeling it, but uh, got my coffee, man, got my coffee. Today's our day. We are gonna catch a giant. We're throwing nothing but the swim bait here. And if we get some followers, I might follow it up with like a crawl or something, but we're throwing the swim bait. Dedication, consistency, trying to get a PB out here, buddy. My reputation is uh, somewhat in the Dinkville area. Okay, hold up, I gotta hit this one. Okay, hold tight. This isn't the pond I'm here to hit, but while Adele is on his way over, let me just cast a line in here. I've never fished this thing. By the way, guys, y'all have asked me a lot about uh, which one of the Mondo optics I have. These are the gill goggles, polarized, um, specifically blue lenses. Okay, so there's literally an opening in the grass all the way up to this drain. This is like undeniably the cast at this pond that you have to make if you're an angler. You did Kiami, right? Uh, I did for a while. Yeah, bro. I was gonna say, I thought I recognized you. Same here. Hopefully we run into each other again. I'm gonna just uh, hit a little bit of this bank and then I'm gonna make a move. Right. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay, Adele's on his way. It is now 10.50. Bite should be picking up here in a minute. Let's go ahead to that big pond. We're here. Adele has arrived. What's up? And like I say, we're just taking the swim bait, but with this red gills bag, I just want to be able to like walk and not be picking up rods left and right. And so uh, this red gills bag actually has a spot for a rod. I dumped the kayak in. I, I mean, I figured we'd walk, uh, we'd just walk all the way around. Maybe go left. <laughs> looks, looks real. <laughs> Oh, maybe this is the lucky PB rock. Stand on this and get blessed. Not a lot of talking as we circled this place, but dude, we gave it the wrap around. We hit the whole bank. We gave this place an hour and a half, and uh, that is that. We're now gonna make a move. I've seen probably, I think there's about 10 fishermen out here, man. Some on uh, like John boats and uh, quite a few people off the bank. I haven't really seen a single fish pulled out, so we're gonna hit another pond. Adele's here, and then Torrance is meeting up with us, so he's actually gonna join the gang. We'll see if three lines in the water isn't the lucky amount of fishermen we need to catch fish. I don't know what it is, man, but it's fun throwing around that swim bait. That was an hour and a half, not even one follower. Yeah, it's just cool. You know you're hunting for that big fish, and if you don't get any bites, you probably weren't in front of the right one. If you get uh, a bite, you assume it's gonna be the big one, so you know you're going out on the hunt for a bite rather than a bunch of numbers. If you get bit, it's a good day. If you don't, there's always tomorrow. Dude, I just got off the phone with Torrance. He says there's seven cars over here. This place was like semi off the grid. Well-known spot now, I guess. Holy cow. This kind of blows my mind. Anyways, I'm thinking uh, chatterbait, jig, swim jig. For now though, let me get a little bit more of that coffee. First cast, almost forgot to start my GoPro up. But anyways, you see what I'm messing with to start things off. Little crack and crawl in here. What are y'all going for? Are you? Okay. Yeah, that's probably a hot zone. I might try and hit that. Thank you. Yeah, if it's clear, I'm going to throw that swim bait again. Well, gang, that did not last long. There's a lot of people going for crappie out here. And uh, 
I'm sure there's some big ones. I saw a guy with a stringer. He had a couple good ones. They're having dinner. Now we made it to the next spot. Uh, we were just kind of scouting that last area. I have not fished that in a long time. I see why I don't go back there a lot. Bro, there we are. First cast. That's over two pounds, I think. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Black and blue bottom bait. Okay, say less. What's up, guys? Adele here, just chilling with Weston and Mr. Pomboyce himself. We're out here just tearing them up at this local little spot, taking over the Weston Smith channel because he's struggling <laughs> to catch the fish today. He's the first one. Let's get him back in the water. Nice little fish. Get in there, buddy. Boom. Let's get some more. That was a bandito bug. I wonder if I should toss that instead of the old hoggy. Oh, fry right there. I just stirred up. Now, what was that on? Yo, Palm Boys right here. I had to take over the channel again because Weston, <laughs> Weston can't catch him. But this is a little dinker. Gonna get him back in there. Got him on the, what is that, Z-Man? I don't even know what it really is, honestly, but let's keep going. This thing is sick, bro. Hell yeah, I don't even gotta make videos no more. <laughs> Dude, that jerk bait might slay. The bait fish in here are just little. Yeah, get over there. Well, I'm tying on, damn it. <laughs> I can't catch nothing. Are you alive? <laughs> no. I don't know if this is a living creature. Oh, God. Bro. Okay. What the that was, a, that, that was, look, there. look, that was full. Exactly spot, still huh? there, bro. They are coming up shallow, broskies. All right, this is, this is it. It's been a while since I caught my PB on a fluke, but it's about to happen again. Is this a joke? Four. That might that might have been a little loud for the golf course, y'all. <laughs> People are teeing off right behind us. Whoops. <laughs> That's my fault. All right, first fish in a while. Where'd he go? He must be behind the bush. All right, see you, bud. Thanks for playing. That was, a good fish. That was like, that was not bad. I think that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've been seeing this one bust over here. I gotta go get him real fast. All right. Shoot. Got him. Got him. Fluke along the bank, baby. All day. The boys are back in town. Oh, it's game day now. You number three, baby. Get on back, boy. Thank you so much. Whew. The bite is picking up now that we have picked up our old favorite friend. I mean, this is what I've caught my PB on, guys. Zoom, ice white, salty super fluke. It has been too long, and the bite is almost non existent today. I've been quiet so much because I'm just not catching, and it looks like this thing is gone. Good thing these are like 99 cents. I think they're a couple bucks. You can get them at Walmart. I'll link them below. It's probably not even worth buying them on Amazon if you can uh, just run down to the store and get them. But here is the packaging, man. Zoom. Super salty fluke. Ice white. Fast love them. Every couple minutes, you'll see one about uh, 7 to 10 feet out from the bank, right where it goes from darkness to light here. And they just come up, burst, and grab themselves something to eat. They get a bunch of these baby... Uh, I don't know if it's little, I don't know what the bait fish are that they're eating in here, but they just look like little minnows. This is definitely a little bit more standout and a bigger meal, 
they are crunching it, man. It's just uh, making far casts is kind of the name of the game because they can see us here on the bank with this water being semi-clear and uh, they're just, they're very aware. So cast a little ways down the bank, keep it shallow. There, there we go. They are feeding on little fishies. And this right here, just slowing it down, leave a long pause, pop, pop, let it sit. It's just kicking butt, man. Uh, I like to um, just vary up the cadence or vary up how many times I pop it before I let it rest. Sometimes it's twice, sometimes it's three times, sometimes it's once. You wanna pop it against slack line. You wanna get a firm pop against that slack. That's what enables it to dart around. If you're always just, if you just keep that line tight and keep popping it, it's pretty much gonna come straight at you. You want that darting motion, erratic movement. That's what really gets them going. One just absolutely keeps murking these minnows on this side. <clears throat> yeah guys and just like that oh it seems like the fluke bite has died but it didn't that's number four i was gonna say man i haven't seen any fish busting in the last ah, quick release making it easy on me i haven't seen any fish busting in the last uh 10 15 minutes so whenever you see something like that just grab a fluke just get in there. So uh, lighter fluorocarbon line, 10 pound, 12 pound, you'd be fine. If you're fishing around some cover, then you know bump it up 15 or past, up to you entirely. Braid's not gonna fly because with braid, you're not gonna get this thing to sink. I'm sure you could, but the fact is whenever you're popping these uh, flukes, and I just, that's elegant. Whenever you're popping these flukes, sometimes they stay on the surface and sometimes they, they, you can't really control them necessarily. And so, and that's good. You want them to just go wherever, but sometimes it takes a few pops to get them to really dive subsurface. Sometimes you just gotta let it sit for a minute to get in the area of the water column, the depth that you want, then give it a few pops and just kinda leave it there. The rod that I'm fishing right now is like a 7.6 heavy. I just didn't have anything on me. So uh, I would say like a 7.2 medium heavy is what I would go with, or just something with a little softer tip too. And then as far as the reel goes, man, grab you one of them Shimano's, baby. I'm all about Shimano. I just think the quality's there, reliability. All I can say about the reels is that uh, they last. We've used a lot of other reels, man. A lot of stuff is broken, whether it's just a, a portion of the handle, the gears, the drag gets whack, out of whack, like just the Shimano reliability is insane. So find you a SLX or something to get started, I'd say. Go for the DC if you really want the noise. Otherwise, I would say save your pennies and just grab a couple SLXs or the XT, the new one that we just picked up. There goes a big bass right there. Whoosh. I guess talking about hooks would be pretty important, wouldn't it? So what I've done is I've just uh, weightless Texas rigged it. When you start renegging it, you want the, the bottom of the fluke facing the hook. That way you end up having it right side up. Once you flip that hook around, get it locked on the nose and you text pose that hook, meaning you push that back into the body here. That way you're very weedless. And I mean, this is good for like grassy ponds that you can't get away with fishing too many other lures. You're not gonna get snagged, but you will catch bass. And so uh, I wanna say this is a three aught hook. I've used uh, four aughts and two aughts, but uh, today this is what we're rocking. It's also more of a worm style hook. So more of like a narrow design. If you were using an EWG, it would, it would bulge out a little bit more. I kinda like the slimmer profile of like these worm style hooks. And so all this you can grab at Shop Carl's actually for up to 30% off if you're a Carl's member. I'm not sure if they have these salty super flukes in ice white, which is my favorite color, but they did have them in stock a while back. But the hooks, the line, all that good stuff over at Carl's. Like two or three, right? Four now. Four now? Yeah, I caught one. Yeah, four. So I'm turning this into a fluke tip video apparently. <laughs> well, we done did it now. What did I say about them shoes earlier, man? I'm telling you. Ice white or something else? Uh, right out of the way. Yeah, so far so good. We've probably got maybe 10 out of here total. Hey, what I've, I've used a uh, Senko, weightless Senko. Yeah, it's got to be money. Yeah. Well, thank you. I might have to time you one on. I'm going to warn you that some of the residents might call and complain. Yeah, no, we've had it before when I hit this one. So now I try and keep it right here and everyone seems friendly. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I don't think the GoPro got that. It turned off and I didn't even realize it. And then it said file repaired. It's pulling one of those GoPro things where uh, I didn't even hear it turn off. But anyways, we caught the fish that we were trying to catch over here by these reeds. And uh, it was off camera. There's definitely still got to be one over there. Let's put this thing back in the water. Now four o'clock in the afternoon. Been up for about 12 hours trying to get at these fish. 
Let's go ahead and head home and get to editing, man. I gotta crank out a video for you guys this evening before I put this one up in the next few days, probably. Day, two days, one day, I don't know. I'll uh, catch you guys at the truck, man. What a day. It's been somewhat of a beat down until we found that fluke bite. All of us got on him on that fluke, man. What a blast. It's been too long. Caught my PB 6.65 pounds on it. I probably mentioned it earlier, but we'll just bring it up one more time before we call it quits, man. Awesome day. We have been all over the Metroplex. I mean, we have been scooting. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Threw some different stuff, had some fun. Torrance and Adele loading up, man. We're out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next video probably tomorrow. Peace. Boom! <gasps>